but able to summarize them, I think travel has been um, a hugely beneficial experience. I was fortunate uh, to live in a number of places growing up. I was fortunate to being uh, exposed to a number of different cultures and ways of living um, and different uh, people um, that really today I still uh, draw upon to be able to inform my perspective or the way that I approach uh, the work. Oh, okay. It, it started, um, I would say, from a very early age, although I didn't know that it was necessarily leading towards a profession or a career in design. Um, again, those kind of early life experiences gave me a formative understanding of the different ways in which people live um, and the different kind of belief systems that exist uh, within the world. Um, I think that that great diversity is something that has always stuck with me and really trying to be able to celebrate it and understand um, how we relate to the world around us. Um, and so I think that it's just something that's been instilled for me from those life experiences in the very beginning. Um, I'm also fortunate to have that paired. So being able to benefit from having an upbringing in which, you know, my family life exposed me to a great amount of different places and different things and different people. Um, it's an interesting question and discussion because I remember very clearly when I was in your position as a student and being educated that there was always a reluctance to truly acknowledge um, how much a sense of self finds itself into your work you know it, 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 and I think that that is right in some ways in that we should always be thinking about the people or the places that we're contributing to first and foremost and kind of what they're you know, needs and value systems and everything is. But I think it's, um, you know, not entirely realistic to be able to completely devoid or divide oneself from their work. And so every decision that you make comes from these sets of core values. Uh, and so, you know, this is also something obviously that we've been talking a lot about in the studio. So first kind of identifying what are those core belief systems, core values and how they kind of, you know, um, engage in subject matter in the world around us, and then understanding what is that process that then ensues. And I've kind of tried to be able to simplify it down into those very sequential steps, right, where it starts with a curiosity or an interest in something, something in the world interests you and treats you, and so you want to be able to move towards it and understand it better. And so um, it's, it's interesting because, you know, it's obviously been quite a long time since there's been, at least in my, from my perspective, like a realization that most creative work, including architecture and design is inherently collaborative. It starts again with a series of questions or a client that seeks us for a work, you know, from that there's some kind of initial, um, you know, speculations or some initial thoughts or ideas or questions that have emerged um, we then gather as a group or that the question itself um, is an important realization that it's something that's always seeking new things. You know, it's really important to be able to have that creativity balanced with curiosity and ambition and always seeking kind of betterment. And I think it's a really important trait for us to all hold is a sense of optimism um, and a vision for the future that is a positive one and then recognizing what is the space that needs to be covered or the ground that needs to be covered between whatever that vision represents and kind of where we currently are. Part of being an architect, being a designer, that is not always a natural extension of who we are. We're not necessarily the most resilient bunch. You know, as creatives, um, we can be very sensitive. We can be very um, bound and determined based upon what our perspective is and when we then go out into the world to be able to try to interact with it. If that perspective is not entirely celebrated, um, sometimes we kind of go into our shell a little bit, never lose that curiosity, never uh, lose that sense of optimism, never lose that passion, never lose the kind of drive that, that, that really inspires you towards seeking 